So, it was the Fear of God show recently at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, the first real life in IRL Holly, um, Fear of God fashion show um, from Jerry Lorenzo. And he debuted the new Fear of God basketball, Adidas basketball collaboration. So, um, they, they signed a very, it's a very interesting thing, approach. So, obviously, Jerry Lorenzo was with Nike for a bit. Then I guess a contract ran out. They didn't re-sign him for some reason, even though I think his shoes at Nike were really good. And then he decided to then sign, link up with Adidas, but not under the Adidas Originals banner or the Adidas mainline, but Adidas basketball. So it's a performance-related product. So it's not lifestyle, which, you know, technically all lifestyle is performance anyway, but this is like, you know, footwear and clothing specifically made for, you know, under the kind of Adidas basketball banner. So it's going to have a lot of stuff that you'd imagine will be somewhat technical and, you know, hold up in the rigors of basketball. So the shoes have now debuted. We've now seen what the shoes are. And these are what the shoes look like, the final shoes. Not the leaked images that we saw, but the final ones. And to me, although they look pretty decent, they do look a lot like the Nikes that... um Jay Lorenzo did at Nike Jay Lorenzo did at Nike the last ones before he left and they also do look very similar to some Y3 Adidas's right? Yoji Yamamoto Adidas designs they kind of look like a hybrid of like the shoe that he did at Nike last and then of course any kind of Adidas Y3 in terms of aesthetic overall so if you're not watching this essentially you've got this really nice um sock upper with these really big um stripes in this sort of like plastic material which i'm assuming acts as like a cage um with the laces to kind of keep the forefoot kind of leaped in you've got this kind of neoprene sock design at the top to kind of keep your foot placed and then you've got this really nice thick translucent sole which isn't super thick it looks thicker than what it is because it's essentially a somewhat vulcanized sole so that your actual foot is around here but then they've made it look thicker because the actual whole midsole unit kind of you know creeps over the actual line the bottom line of where your foot sits because your foot's going to actually sit here that's where the actual line is so it's kind of vulcanized but then it's a bit actually added and it kind of looks thicker than it is and then you've got this nice kind of like gray knit material on the front the same material in the main body and then you've got this sock liner here with no tongue and then you've got some extra fastens here with the pull strings and the added laces that I'm sure if you pull them, that kind of acts like a cage that kind of pulls your foot in. So they look decent enough, don't get me wrong, but considering all the fuss that Jay Renzo was making about kind of saying the samples that came out earlier weren't the same, but if we check them, right, the Jerry Lorenzo Adidas samples or leak, I don't think they look that dissimilar then the leak they look kind of similar to be fair he said it wasn't the same shoe and it's not the same one but they look very similar and even the logo at the front is the same logo he tattooed or had put on his neck in part of the promo pictures when he signed up to adidas so this these and this this shoe here i think they look very similar so the fact that he made such a big stink about no they're not the same shoe that shoe that leaked is not the shoe that i'm putting out they're pretty much in the same ballpark Yes, of course, they're different overall in terms of the design. But overall, in terms of aesthetic, they look kind of similar. They still got, they both have the same, um, you know, vulcanized type of like translucent sole. It's the same sort of color blocking on the top with the black and the cream. This has got the black and sort of like a gray type of colorway. The neoprene upper vibe. This particular shoe has like more of a prominent tongue that you can see there. But they look very, 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 very similar, in my opinion, in terms of the shoe. I think so. They look very, very similar. But regardless, that's what they look like. The Adidas um, basketball shoe is still meant to be coming out. And that's them in another colorway. And there's another shoe here also that he's made. I'm not too sure if this is a Jerry Lorenzo. No, it looks like Adidas also. So maybe this is another model. There's two models here. There's this model that's going to be coming out soon, I'm assuming. And then there's a model here at the back. Um, that is more of a traditional runner with, uh, and again, a thicker sole that I actually like to look at probably a lot better. I probably look, I probably like these in the back better than I like the fourth, the ones in the foreground, actually, in terms of a look. But yeah, um, Jay Lorenzo did a fashion show. Um, so far, we haven't got any pictures for it. Let me actually check the Vogue magazine app. But the last time I checked the app, there was no actual pictures for the actual clothing, which is strange. He didn't live stream it. Oh, it's available now on Vogue. Amazing. It's cool. We can check it out on Vogue live in the show. So it's available on Vogue. But a few celebrities were there. 
Here's a picture. Whoop, I have to get rid of that on the screen because it's got titties. But here's a picture of uh, Kanye with his wife, Bianca Cesori or Sensori, um, in the back putting on their outfit. Um, they've got this really cool mesh type design um, thing on top of them. It looks like pantyhose. It could be something else all over. Um, Bianca's covered head to toe in it. Kanye's got the mask all over his face, obscuring his face. I pretty, li I much like that a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually surprised, to be honest. In this era of, you know, paparazzi and invasion of privacy and stuff, that more celebrities don't go out with stuff like this on their face. Do you think it's shyness? Why don't more celebrities wear these masks on their face? Just, especially someone like a Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio clearly hates having his picture taken. He's always got his hat super low down, his glasses on. He puts his, you know, his jacket over his face. Why does he just wear one of these masks? What's, you know I mean, like, what's, why? I don't understand why he, uh, why he basically doesn't do that. Because if I was a celeb and I wanted to live a somewhat regular life and go out and about, that's what I would do. I would never take my face mask off. I just have it on the whole time, have a hat on and just be keep. I know people would reckon, recognize you anyway, but that would be a better way to live than having to, you know, fake hide your face when you call the paparazzi on yourself. But anyway, that's them getting dressed. Look amazing. Obviously, you can't you know show too much of it because the boobies and titties are out. I don't want to get banned, um, but they looked amazing there. That's them vibing. Kanye got some new shoes on. I want to see those. And there's another video here of Kanye at the show vibing. I like the hood. Also, another thing to mention, right? This is something again. Maybe I'm a fan. I'm too much of a geek in this sort of vibe. I really do like Kanye's aesthetic when it comes to hoods. He has a particular type of design on hoods that I love, and you know what it is? My favorite hood shape: Ku Klux Klan, KKK. <laughs> <laughs> that pointy hood design is something that I've always loved on the hoods and you used to get them before on like champion hoodies, but they didn't, they didn't kind of remove them. And the only place that you get that kind of really big pointy design is old Bape hoodies on, they had that pointy cone shape on a hood, um, Yeezy hoodies and Vetema hoodies. Those are the t f hoodies that you get with the cone shape, that kind of KKK Ku Klux Klan pointed shape. And Kanye does a good job of them. Like look at the shape of that hood nice and big and usually i like them because it fits my fucking hair in and it just looks intimidating it kind of um obscures your face it makes you look crazy and shit as you're running behind you know white ladies walking down an alleyway like i fucking love it <laughs> but anyway this is it kanye at the show kanye and his wife look at that look at mum and dad at the show chilling having fun right mum and dad at the show completely cover head to toe right I think because it's Ramadan or something, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, let's continue. Um, more images of Kanye there. Now without the mask. <laughs> Going crazy. We love that. We love to see him happy and having fun. Set design at like the actual show looks pretty cool, right? It's giving um it's giving Scientology the stage design. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, especially considering Jay Lorenzo is a proper hardcore Christian. This is kind of giving indoctrination. It kind of feels like you have to go up there and give your life to Christ or get baptized somewhere along the way. But I'm liking it regardless. Um, we continue. There's more images here. This is again is giving early Yeezy vibe when he did the show at the Madison Square Garden with like Ian Connor and Young Fug back in the day. It kind of gives similar sort of vibe. Oh, nice hip hop and Tupac there playing in the background. I'm not going to play because I don't want to get copyright striked. We continue. There's a video here. Oh, look, there's a video of Kanye West actually, head to toe, covered with his bride, um, saying hi to flipping Jay Lorenzo in the back. So clearly, Jay Lorenzo hasn't cancelled Kanye, even though Kanye trashed, you know, Tremaine and made that whole flipping tremendous account and then was going after fucking everyone in streetwear and stuff. It looks like Jay Lorenzo is probably one of the only true friends that are standing next to him. Um, him and maybe Matthew Williams. I think Heron Preston maybe doesn't talk to him anymore. But Jay Lorenzo is clearly still friends with Ye. He still loves the guy. Oh, Kanye looks cool, bro. I love the outfit. I'm not going to lie. I love the outfit. He's got this bomber jacket on that looks like new season Yeezy. The hood on the jacket is great, isn't it? Look at that hood design. It kind of is seamless into the body. I don't know how it kind of fastens on the front to make you have that shape, but it looks fucking great. 
and then he's got uh, some sort of necklace thing around him. Maybe it's like a pass or something underneath it. Some cool gloves he's wearing. And then he has some weird slipper things on. I'm not sure if that's New Yeezy, if that's New Yeezy either. He's got these slipper type things on at the bottom. Let's see if I can find them on this clip. These like slipper things. I'm sure someone's got them from the account. But yeah, they look like these slipper type shoes. There, he's wearing, which look cool as well. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. People say airport. Look, that is me at the airport. That's why I wear when I go when I go to the airport. I'm always in all black like that, mate. All black, head to toe, vet them up. Big up Demna. Jerry looking good, feeling happy. Another clip of the show. Let's go to Vogue Runway actually and check it. I just had to see what the actual show looks like, the clothing and shit. The shoes I'm not that impressed by. Okay, cool. H and M Mugler, we can I could probably check out the next show, but let's see what this new Fear of God the Alley stuff looks like anyway. How many looks are they giving us? I'm gonna say Jay Lorenzo probably gave us more than fifty looks. I'm guessing more than fifty. Because he does love, you know, different flipping colours of the same overcoat. So let's see. I'm saying fifty. But maybe it's going to be less. Let's see what it says when it loads. How many looks do we get here? Let's view slideshow. How many you give us? I say 50. What's the final number? 60. Fucking hell. 60 looks. Okay, we're not going to go through the whole thing. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to do it on the main page. That's a, that's a cool cheat way to go about it. Let's scroll down. There's full collection. You do click load more and it loads all of them up like this. So you can just quickly scan through them. But 60 of these looks is, oh my God, stop doing that. Let's go back again. 60 is too much, man. Too much of the same cream, black and beige type of shit. But let's check it anyway. Anyway, let's see. Uh, it's loading there. Let's click load more. Cool. There we go. So let's see what we're doing. We're looking within shapes. What you'd expect from um, Jay Lorenzo, to be honest, it looks a little bit like Zegna, the collaboration that he did beforehand. Nice boxy shapes with a with a sprinkling of tailoring here and there to make them look all chic. Some nice silhouettes. Everything looks very cozy and comfy. But I want to see the Adidas basketball stuff. Let's see where that is in this collection. Um, the casting looks awesome as per usual. Like This kid here looks great in this outfit. I love that. Um, uh, look number 25. But I want to see the Adidas basketball. Ooh, I also love this as well. This is really lovely. Look number 30. I'd wear the fuck out of that outfit. But let me see the Adidas basketball stuff. Where are you? Adidas basketball. There we go. We've got some Adidas stuff here with those shorts. I think. Maybe Adidas stuff here with those pants there. Maybe some stuff there with those track pants. But I can't find anything specific that is Adidas. Where is it? Maybe towards the end. Not this stuff here. Look 45 onwards not. These leather looks are really nice. It's kind of giving his own version of Yeezy a little bit in here. The gloves are really cool. I love some of the pants here. Uh, there's that Supreme guy. Cool. Big up him. Where's Adidas basketball shit? I don't see it. Okay, maybe Pusha T's wearing the whole look. That Pusha T looks pretty cool. Alton Mason, he looks really nice in this outfit. But yeah, okay. I don't know. It looks okay. Bit underwhelming on, on first look, but I'll probably have to give it a detailed look later on and kind of have a deep dive. But it does look a little bit of underwhelming. I'm not going to lie. Looks a little bit underwhelming from what I can see so far. But we'll have to check it out later and see if it is as underwhelming as I think it, A.B., because I don't want to waste too much of your time.